Mrs. Cox, did did the police bungle this from the very beginning? I don't think they bungled it. Um, it was, they realized really soon that it was overwhelming. They didn't realize <clears throat> they would have so many calls and tips from people. So I know they weren't able to get them all. I know a lot of people feel they bungled it, but if they knew on how much they searched, um, they searched over 400 mines alone, and there's, I guess, a thousand or, or who knows how much. But they, um, anything that seemed credible and anything they got, they would check. So I don't think they bungled it. I think they just didn't realize how much it would be and they needed more people and they worked with what they could do. Stephanie, in, you know, this is a massive job in putting this miniseries together. What kind of mountains of, of information did you have to sift through? Well, the team at Oxygen spent over a year working on this series because we really wanted it to be very in-depth, provide some answers, and really not just glorify the story, but finally let people know what was going on in the final moments of Susan's life. And luckily, before she went missing, luckily there was a lot that we could look through, more so than any case I've covered, hundreds and hundreds of hours of videotapes and documents and Susan's journals. All this was really eye-opening and for the first time we're able to share it on TV for everyone to be able to see. Some of it's so disturbing we can't air it. It's really shocking and I know it'll be hard for the family to uh, know that everyone is seeing this, but I think they want a lot of it out. And so there were some hurdles to climb, but overall law enforcement was very happy to give us all the information because they want answers for Susan's family just as much as everyone else does. They want this case to be solved and there was just so much visual stuff to go through. It will really shock everyone. In your investigation though, you found that, that he had some, some very weird, uh, well, obviously the, you know, he, in my opinion, he was weird from the very beginning, but he had he had some kind of an attachment to his to his stepdaughter. Uh, Steve Powell was very attached to all of his children. He kind of ran his family like a cult, we would say. Uh, he was very involved in their lives. He would have hours and hours long phone, phone calls with Josh, his son. And then when Josh would get off the phone, he was very mean to Susan after these calls. And we think that that means something. Steve just had a really great influence over his son. And in the show, we really get into how much was he responsible for Susan's disappearance? What part did he play? Uh, was he the mastermind? Questions like that, because it was a very odd family dynamic. You're, you're right, and obviously he was obsessed with his daughter-in-law, which we knew uh, years ago, but now when you get to finally see these videotapes, you can really see how intense it was. Uh, Mrs. Cox, y y you know, you're very brave in, in, in having this story put onto television like it is. I mean, do you, what, what do you want people to get from this? I want them to first understand that it could happen to anyone. And I would want people to be careful, to look closely at their relationships, uh, see if the person um, might have red flags. I would call it red flags meaning are they being respectful and not just to that person or your spouse or, or partner, but also to family and friends and just kind of see how they are. And even has been said uh, by Jennifer, um, Josh's sister, that sometimes you need to do a background or a research a little bit on the person possibly that you're dating to try to be careful and um, be safe. And, and the series begins May 4th. This must have really bowled you over. I mean, even a seasoned reporter does get shocked. I knew about this case and I knew how intense it was, but I had no idea that it would be this disturbing and both eye-opening. I keep telling people that it's kind of, it's changed me as a woman and I think the viewers will feel the same way to see how someone could be so obsessed with you and filming your every move. This was her father-in-law, and the, the thing to take away from the show is 
you never really know what's going on behind closed doors and you just have to be paranoid aware and not that someone's recording you at all times but something even like Susan's hus or Susan's husband Josh he was very much abusing her with controlling money and kind of keeping her down and keeping her in the house and determining who she could spend her time with. So that was the things that were really shocking in this case is her her marriage and then this obsession that her father-in-law had. I had never seen anything like it and I think the viewers will feel the same way. Well, thank you both. Mrs. Mrs. Koch, you are very, very brave and, uh, and in sharing this as well. Uh, and again, all of our heartfelt condolences to you uh, even over these many years. Uh, and, and Stephanie, thank you so much for your time this morning. Again, you can catch the miniseries starting May 4th on Oxygen. And again, thank you, thank you very much, ladies. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.